All right, I owe y'all a video, I know I do. I think the chaos has been keeping me from making them. Right now, the chaos is, that's okay. Look at the grill there. Woo, pork chops and some ribs and some taters. Okay, but you know, okay, a couple things have happened. I think I killed these with fertilizer maybe. Um, pineapple is still doing freaking awesome. It'll be time to pluck it here pretty soon. Um, these guys have taken a beating. I think these guys had some tin thrown down on them and just broke off their roots. They were so pretty. So this is Texas, y'all. Some things make it and some things do not. Moonflowers are looking okay. Look at the caladiums. They're coming along now. I like these guys. I'll have to move them to the shade and give them some more dirt. I think I rubbed peppers on my face when I was making the taters because my face is stinging. So yeah, the tree never came back and we just haven't cut it down yet. We got all kinds of roof stuff going on. We got another week. We're waiting for the tin. I guess because we ordered, we ordered some really good tin um, and we had it painted dark green. So maybe that's why it's going to take two weeks when you order it. So we are all tar papered in. Supposedly it's all good. That's what Mark told me. You're all tight. You'll be fine. Uh, and we got all this going on. And Keith is using some of it to make an overhang. Canoe is over there because obviously we have not been canoeing. Tomato up here. To get, the flood just... Okay, so that's what the flood did to a lot of stuff. I want to show you this here in the back. I had beautiful lantana last year, and this year, not so much. Yeah, see, I had a tree in there about a month ago, and I killed it, but the roses are looking beautiful. And I guess I gotta chop this baby off. It looks like it still might do something. It's so green. I hate to chop it off. That was the avocado tree. Those are pretty. Um, Ronald is on a trip. He is on the Frio River. These guys, when I plucked a little chicken from the library like three years ago, four years ago, it's more little chickens. And this guy's stunted because it could be a tree like that one over there. But I have never moved it out of this little teeny pot. That would be the cactus I take with me, I guess. So here's what I saw today. So here's another hit from the flood. You see my beautiful pepper bushes I had? Not so much. And here we go. This is what's really bothering me. I just noticed this a few minutes ago. So my avocado looks fine. But look down here on the trunk. What the heck is that? It may be the early signs of the end. I do not know. All I can say is it's a disappointment when things don't make it. It could be mold from down below. From, I, I don't know. I have no idea. It looks like it's burnt. But that's not possible. So. Yeah. And so things will be going really good for a while and then poof, nothing. I need to change my hummingbird water been out here too long and he said he saw some hummingbirds but not on the feeder see the asparagus is awesome I can probably cut it and get another batch of eating out of it um, and it'll do it good actually when it gets to be here I'll probably wait another month maybe and do it when it gets really hot um, I got a tomato there it's looking like a little drought tomato we'll see but look at my lantana. It was beautiful last year. It was beautiful blooms. I had butterflies all over. And look at that. It's a desert. I did just take some of those chives inside and put them in my potatoes. And we did have tomatoes and peppers. And look, these peppers were up above the water. And so they are doing fine in the tree. Isn't that crazy? see all those peppers on there so hopefully that'll be okay I should probably put some more dirt in there we got more roof mess under here 
More roof mess up there. But it's coming along. And Keith is making him a little teeny overhang. Let's see. Let's go check it out. Behind the shed for his mowers and stuff. So we don't have to have them under the carport. And there's been some thieving in the neighborhood, y'all. A neighbor down the road got his uh, kayak stolen. And somebody else got a blower or something stolen. I heard through the grapevine. And so, yeah, we need to lock up. Probably get some locks for these little gates back here. But yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? It's a tiny yard. Let's use up every little teeny space. And that's the tin from above. I guess he bought him some posts. But uh, hopefully he used up some of this used stuff we had from other projects. Anyways, okie doke. <laughs> oh look, they were kind of ripped into that. They're going to have to figure that out. That looks bad up there. I trust him, Mark. We're gonna owe him a chunk of change, but we'll have a good tight roof, I do believe. He'll do a good job. He's a good friend. All right, I got the air conditioner on in the shed because I've been sick and I have not gotten my clothes folded. So the air conditioner's on. I got a giant pile of clothes in there. I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna fold clothes. And that'll probably be my late hour and be in bed later than that and hit subway tomorrow. Let's see what that has in store for me. That's been rough too, y'all. Oh my, it's been rough. I, it was so rough, I looked in the paper for other jobs and nothing yet, but I think I'm gonna keep my eye out. All right. I think I'll take a Snapchat, a Snapchat, a snap of the asparagus and use that as my that's so pretty that's the prettiest thing in the yard there's apollo apollo are you the prettiest thing in the yard scratch 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 all right y'all take it easy have a lovely evening and i'm sorry i have been a miss lately <laughs> it's hot out here but it's not as bad as it is some days bye for now